Because you're watching this video, I assume you have a basic knowledge of CSGO. So let's cover what's different in my Minecraft project, Global Terrorist Attack. Now, what happens when a game starts? Buy time. As soon as the 15 seconds of buy time pass, the shopkeeper instantly goes away, so make your decisions fast. The barriers represent custom weapons which are by default disabled, so don't mind these. Also, not all weapons from CSGO are present in this remake. The weapons that aren't in this version are the Dualies, the CZ-75, the M249, the MP7, only the MP5 is present, and the decoy grenade because I couldn't be bothered to recreate it, and it's not as simple as you might think. Now, the round starts, and here goes the fun part, shooting. Time to get nerdy. Unlike in CSGO, the aim punch you receive when shooting weapons isn't temporary, and when you stop shooting, your crosshair doesn't go back to its regular position. The recoil pattern of all weapons is straight upwards, with some weapons having a higher or a lower upper limit. I made this deliberately to reduce lag, less commands being executed, and to make the skill ceiling lower, because let's be honest, you're not gonna play this a whole lot. Because Minecraft only has 20 ticks per second, and it's usually 17 on servers because of lag, all automatic weapons shoot slower. However, I made sure that rifles shoot just a bit slower so SMGs are still faster. Spraying weapons while standing makes them inaccurate more quickly but the shots that will hit the target will always do. The uncontrollable inaccuracy of CSGO weapons is only applied to pistols, besides the deagle and revolver, shotguns and SMGs. All rifles with scopes don't have specific buttons to turn on the scope because I wasn't able to make a different way of player input without lag or plugins. Instead, to turn it on, just stand still, and when the vision zooms, it's time to shoot. This can be a bit wonky at times, but as long as you can play the real CSGO, this should make a big impact. The Glock and the FAMAS also don't have their triple burst functionality, which I know some people actually use, but again, I couldn't bind that function to any key. This also applies to taking off the silencers of the M4A1 and the USB. But the way Minecraft models actually hold the weapons doesn't make them stick out as much as in CSGO, so this won't be a problem. Because in CSGO, when you strafe, you are still sprinting, but in Minecraft, you're only walking. There have been some slight accuracy readjustments, but because of the big head hitboxes, you should be hitting your shots more often anyway. Because of all this, the knife suffered too. To do the normal swing, use the standard right click, but to do the secondary fire, use the reload key. The last problem with guns is the firing sound. In CSGO, if you're standing behind a wall and the sound is on the other side, the sound you hear is quieter or unhearable at all. Here, I couldn't just summon rays that are coming from the sound and then bounce over the walls and kill your ears. That would kill the server. Instead, the sounds have been made overall quieter and the communication with your team and the radar will have to help you if you hear firing sounds across the map. Oh wait, the radar. It doesn't exist. Sorry about that, but I didn't know how I could effectively implement it. I could have used a paper map, but they don't show the map how I wanted to. You will be able to see the other team most likely, and the map, if I put it in the player's offhand, would obstruct the vision. Besides, you'll be playing this with your friends anyway, so you can communicate with them normally. There's Discord, TeamSpeak, maybe Facebook somehow. Also. The votes you can cast are different here. There's still the timeout and the surrender option, but there's also a team swap vote. Both teams must agree. And there isn't a kick function, because again, you'll be playing this with your friends, right? The votes are casted in the inventory, which can't be interacted with in the spectator game mode. 
So to combat this very good Minecraft vanilla feature, use the slash trigger cast vote command and the number designated to each vote. Now the game is coming to a close, there's just one more change. There is no overtime. In competitive, it's just first to 16. There is no round cap. And that's all the major differences between the Minecraft map and the actual CSGO. Now go ahead and play the map, download link in the description.